Greetings guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and welcome back to another video. I hope that you are well, and I hope that you are fighting, because there's a lot to be fighting for. As usual, there will be a link in the description to the page on my website with a bunch of petitions, donations, emails to send to MPs, etc, etc. You may remember, if you've been watching me for some time, a few months back I did a video titled I found the worst misogynist on Twitter, or I found the worst man on Twitter, something like that. Uh, and it was about a man named Yogi Obes. And since then, his Twitter has been deleted. Uh, however, he does have a YouTube channel and a lot of you have been asking for me to check it out ever since I uploaded that all the way back in like January or something. So today is the day that I am finally going to be doing that. Usually I will watch things first and write a script to sort of talk about but I kind of wanted to do it a little bit differently today. So today is just going to be my raw reaction to the video and what I have to say as I'm watching it for the first time. So here's to hoping that it isn't shit boring <laughs> and we can get some good content out of this. So the video we're going to be watching today is called Why Gays, Atheists and Feminists Are So Homophobic because that title really captured my attention. I was quite I was quite intrigued, so we're gonna watch that. Um, yeah, and if you were wondering, the Hush Woman mug on my screen is from his merch shop. Cause he has merch and it's all just fucked up. My last video about him included a lot about his merch, but this is a great example and I thought it was very fitting for the video today. Really quickly, before we get into it, I would like to once again draw attention to my little friend over here, the little rainbow kiwi plushie whom I love very very dearly. They are still up for sale for the next like two weeks. I don't know when this video is going up but approximately two weeks you have left to grab one for yourself. They they are the cutest thing in the entire world. I'm very proud of them. I love them with my entire heart and soul and being. I love this little kiwi so much. Um, If you want to grab one they're at makeship.com one purchase is one prayer for the straights TM. Also, don't forget to like and leave a comment. YouTube algorithm is bullying me at the moment, so any engagement would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe. I would really, really like to hit 500K by my birthday in January, which I know is super far-fetched, but if we push hard enough, we could do it together. The power of the gays. <laughs> Who are apparently homophobic according to this band. So let's find out how, shall we? I've been trying to figure out why atheists, leftist, feminists, why they're all so homophobic. In one of my recent videos, people are dropping these comments telling me to come out because they hope, they're desperate to believe that I must be gay because they are intimidated by straight men with traditional beliefs. I don't think that's quite what they mean. <laughs> I don't think that's quite what they mean. Oh, but believe what you want, go off. I'm not afraid of gay people, but if um, someone like a drag queen sat down next to me, I might be a bit repulsed by it. I don't care if a drag queen sits next to me. I'll just be disgusted and I'll flinch and make it obvious that I don't like that they're sitting next to me, but I'll accept it. I'm not afraid of them. They just make me feel sick. I'm not homophobic. I just believe that um, marriage should... I'm not homophobic. I just believe that uh, marriage should be between a man and a woman. I... <laughs> so you're homophobic then? What is? What do you not understand about that, sir? It's not that difficult. You don't like gay people. Then you're homophobic. I think it's a joke. I think gays think it's a joke to get married because we know how promiscuous they are. They don't want to get married. <laughs> Them gay people always out there having sex. They don't want to get married. Every single gay is a slut. Every single one just going out there and sleeping with whoever they want. It's quite disgusting. None of them deserve marriage. None of them want love. They want only bodies. Firstly, sir, who gives a fuck who's sleeping with who? and how many times. Doesn't matter. Who cares? Secondly, some gay people are asexual. Uh, and also, some gay people are saving sex till marriage. Some gay people do not want to have sex or casual sex. 
It doesn't fucking matter. And also people who do have a lot of casual sex, also sometimes they want to stay with that. They don't want to get married. They want to continue being sexually promiscuous and sleeping around. That's totally valid. But also some of them do want to eventually get married. Some of them do eventually want to have a single partner. Sometimes they want to have multiple partners, but have like a soul partner whom they want to marry. Literally doesn't matter. Let people sleep around. Being sexually promiscuous doesn't mean you don't want to fall in love. Like what? What kind of logic, sir? What? No one wants to get married because people don't believe in love. They believe in f just sleeping around and enjoying every minute of the day and flooding their brains with dopamine 24 seven and never having a dull moment in their life, yet their entire life is miserable and dull because they can't find the true meaning and purpose that anchors them. This man is saying so many things. So let's just summarize that real quick, right? Marriage rates are going down because people just want to have sex. No one wants to fall in love. And love is the meaning of life. So they're depressed all the time. They're having sex so that they can get dopamine and feel happy. So then let them have sex and feel happy. What, what is your problem? What's the, why do you care? Some people do have casual sex for more problematic reasons, such as like, uh, insecurity and internalized misogyny and things like that. And that, that's sad. But some people also don't have sex for those exact same reasons. They are not different. That is the same problem, just with different outcomes. It's still the same problem. But you wouldn't be saying that about these people. You're only saying it about these people. And also the decrease in marriage rates isn't because people don't believe in love. It's because people think marriage is stupid. I can't disagree. I am someone who thinks marriage is stupid. I always have. Maybe that comes from the fact that my mother has told me my entire life that marriage is stupid and I should never get married. Probably plays a large factor in it. I like the dress though. So I would wear the dress. I would like to have, a, I don't care about the marriage part, but I would like the dress and the party and someone telling me they love me. That sounds amazing. I wanna be the center of attention in a wedding dress and eating cake. That sounds great. People that marry themselves, I will do that. That will be me. And I will be fucking stoked, so happy, over the moon. That doesn't mean people aren't in love and having partners. And even if it does, why does it matter? Why does it affect you? Why do you care what other people do in their love life and in their sex life? It literally has nothing to do with you. So shut up and keep it to yourself. How am I only three minutes into this video? <laughs> I've been here for 20 minutes. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, this is gonna, I'm gonna be here for a long time. Okay. They pretend that we're homophobic and then they use their own homophobia to diminish other people's masculinity. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> if I come out as gay, then it gives them comfort because then they have a logical explanation in their head as to why I am the one that's incorrect. So if I'm gay, then I'm not as strong. And that is the homophobia. These are the same people that will tell you gay people can be just as masculine as straight men. But the newer one is that a transgender man is the same as a biological man he's just as masculine. This man just went from one topic to another. There was no absolutely no correlation between those two points. We call him gay because we are looking for an excuse for him being wrong. And if he's gay, it means that he's not strong. So therefore it's an excuse for him being incorrect. Like if he's gay, that's why he was wrong. That sounds pretty homophobic of you, but apparently that's us being homophobic. And then, <laughs> and then he said that we don't think that masculine men can be gay. So we're looking for an excuse, someone to bring in to be like, look, see, masculine men can be gay. But actually, we don't have that anymore. That stereotype has died. What we're saying now is that trans men are masculine, but actually they're not because they're women. How did we get here? What, sir? The, what? Everything you just said made absolutely no sense, nor do the dots connect. How did you go from gay people are homophobic to I am transphobic? I, <laughs> ah, I, do, I don't, man, 
People aren't hoping that you're gay. That's not what that is. You are reading that so wrong. The reason people say it is because when you come across as being so like anti-queer and saying that, oh, no, it's, uh, it's gross, it's weird, I don't like it. It just seems kind of sus, you know? Like, why are you thinking about gay people all the time? Really weird. If you weren't gay, you wouldn't be thinking of- Can you shut up? Why the fuck is there a helicopter right above my head? If you're gonna be talking about gay people all the time and you're gonna be talking about like gay sex more than you talk about like heterosexuals, people are gonna make the joke that you're gay. Why are you thinking about gay people all the time? Why are you thinking about gay people having sex? Really fucking weird. Seems kind of gay. You know who thinks about gay sex? Gay people. It's not because they want an excuse for you to be wrong and we need more manly gay people. It's because you think about gay people too much to be straight. There we go. I solved your whole fucking video that you're about to be transphobic in. Let's see what you have to say, shall we? So these are people want you to think that gay men can be just as masculine and transgender men can be just as masculine as real men with XY chromosomes that are straight and are attracted to highly feminine women and highly feminine women are attracted to them and they actually want to think that those people can be just as masculine as this straight guy who is in his design as god intended i don't know what he's saying <laughs> i genuinely feel like my brain is melting Trans men want to be as masculine as gay men who want to be as masculine as straight men who are attracted to highly feminine women and they want those women to be attracted to them but they aren't as attracted to them as they are to straight males as God intended. What? Huh? What, what does that mean? Also, why do gay men want feminine women attracted to them? They, what, what? You did not follow your thought. You need to edit your videos. <laughs> because that that literally made no sense. I have no idea what the fuck you were trying to say. I have no clue what you're saying. When I talk about why women are childless and single at the age of 50, suffer tremendously. If I'm gay, why would I think that? I think their logic is that if you are uh, gay but you haven't come out yet, you have some repressed anger. So they think that because you're closeted gay, you are frustrated, and so then you are letting out that frustration on women. First, first error is why is every closeted gay assumed to be frustrated? That's, that, I think, is, is homophobic in and of itself. Closeted gays are frustrated because they're closeted gays. What the f what do you mean? That's homophobic. To assume closeted gays are frustrated that they feel like they can't be themselves and love who they love, like, openly. Being closeted is not something that's fun for anyone. People don't want to be closeted. That is frustrating. I don't think that's a homophobic statement to make. If you're not frustrated as a closeted person, that's also valid. But, like, I feel like assuming closeted people are frustrated is not a bad take. Have you interviewed every closeted gay out there and asked them, are you frustrated? Are you frustrated? Do you go on YouTube making women because you're gay? I, I don't think so. Have you interviewed every childless woman and asked, are you suffering? Are you suffering? No, you haven't. So stop speaking about the fact that childless women are suffering. Thank you for proving all of our points. We don't speak on behalf of every gay person. You don't speak on behalf of any woman because you are not a woman. At least we're gay. I think we have more of a right to speak on gay people's experience than you do on women. So automatically you have agreed with us that you have no right to be talking about women. Now you can shut up. Thank you for acknowledging the fact that you have no place being here. Keep in your own business. Stay out of ours. Ay. I don't think closeted gays typically uh, go out of their way to promote traditional values in society. But of course, in their minds, they don't think I'm promoting traditional values. They think I'm hating women because they think traditional values uh, basically is a form of misogyny. That's why it's so hard for me to make videos like this because you're trying to understand people who don't, aren't logical. They just don't like straight people. There's a war on straight people. Oh, he's right there. There is a war on straight people. We don't like straight people. Straight men and straight women? Mm -mm, disgusting. We don't want anything to do with you. Do what you want in your own time, in your own place. Keep it to yourself. Oh, you should shut up.
fuck was that sound? Okay, let's say they do have a repressed anger. Why would they then target women? whole entire video up until this point is him just being like, I'm not gay, see? I care about women. And the way I care about women is by telling them they have to be stay-at-home wives and have children. So since I care about women so much, I am not gay. I'm just going to sit here and talk about gay people for 16 minutes because I am not gay. You do have some misogynistic values there. You think women live to serve men, right? Like, doesn't sound like you like women very much. This is how the simpleton thinks. I didn't get this, so I'm going to harm that. That's why people typically think of me as an incel or a misogynist, because if I can't get women, then I have this mentality, it's an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But if that, if that, if that was true, then I think my videos would have a much more simpler uh, character. Uh, my content would have a simpler character and it wouldn't have transformed the lives of thousands of women who- You have not changed a single woman's life in any positive way. Don't act like you've helped any woman. Don't act like- don't act like you've helped any woman, let alone like thousands of women. Fuck off. So the idea is you're gay so you couldn't get women. There's multiple possibilities here. One is that women don't like you because you're closeted gay and there's something about you your feminine nature, you're just socially awkward because you're not straight, so you don't understand why other guys would like women. And so you don't act like the straight guys and then the girls reject you. You would want to express your frustration towards the opposite sex. So I understand that. That's one possibility. None of that made any sense. I'm not stupid, right? This man isn't making sense. I have not understood a single point he's tried to make. Not at all. All I can gather is that he won't shut up about the fact people think he's gay and he is not gay. I don't know why you would think I am gay. Do, would gay people sit down and make an entire 15 minute video about how they're not gay? No, I didn't think so. The clear flagrant issue with this line of thinking is that so many gay men are so extremely comfortable with women and I've seen them. I've seen how they act with women in some cases and I, maybe they're confused but I, I've seen this gay guy. I knew him from school and I saw him at a bar once back when I would go to the bars during my fornication phase and he was very touchy. <laughs> during my fornication phase? That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. During my fornication phase. That's so funny. That's so funny. I am currently living my best fornication phase. <gasps> he should put that on a t-shirt. That's way better than hush woman. Fornication phase? I've moved past my fornication phase. That's fucking fantastic. I love that. That should be in everyone's Tinder bio. In my fornication phase. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Best thing you've said so far, sir. And it didn't seem like he was uh, act acting homosexual. There was something going on. Maybe he was bi, I'm not sure, but he never came across as bi. He came across very clearly as homosexual and not just came across, like, like I'm pretty sure he was homosexual. He was very touchy-feely with women, which isn't very homosexual of him. Maybe he's bisexual, but he didn't give off bisexual vibes. Pretty sure he was a homosexual. People can be like intimate and touchy-feely with one another without being attracted to each other. People can have like physical relationships and like cuddle and like joke around, whatever, without that being romantic or sexual in any way. Just because you don't have friends like that doesn't mean other people don't have friends like that. They can do whatever the fuck they want as long as it's consensual. Also, he didn't give off bi- he didn't feel bisexual. What the fuck does that mean, man? People don't feel bisexual or feel homosexual. We just are people. Fuck off. That's homophobic. That's biphobic. And I think the third possibility is that he's, he's not seeking women at all, um, but he doesn't know how to cope with the reality, and so he just decides to take his frustration out on women. But then the flaw in that argument is, why wouldn't he take his frustration out on straight men too? Because it seems to be that the people that are calling me gay, or wishing that I was gay, they are that type. They are taking their frustration out on straight men 
because they couldn't be straight. They couldn't succeed as a straight person. They're not calling you gay because they wish they were straight. That's not what's happening, man. You are not making a very good argument at all. You have not made a single point. If anything, this is making me- I did not think you were gay before, but at this point, I don't know, man. I did not go into this with any sort of, like, this man is a closeted gay. You are not doing a very good job of convincing me otherwise. <laughs> so the real thing is that these people are straight-phobic. Christophobic. <laughs> Christophobe? That's fucking hilarious. That's so funny. I don't care what religion you follow. I really, really don't. As long as you don't use religion to, like, as a justification to hurt people, I do not give a shit what religion you are. But I do think that is a very funny term. And also a lot of gay people are Christian and I'm sure a lot of the people commenting that are also Christian. So I do with that information what you like, man. The word you are looking for is heterophobic and I am proudly so, as we all should be. Fuck the heads. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I am kidding. Please do not get mad at me. I am kidding. Once again, if we look at the types of relationships, by and large, most gay people have, they are extremely promiscuous. They're not known for being loyal, so they don't have the same monogamous instinct because it doesn't work. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't work. Where are you pulling this from? Straight from your ass. That's where this is all coming from. Gay people are not more promiscuous. What are you on, man? Like, what are you trying to imply? Like, you just go to a pride, you just see a pride parade and you're like, oh, that person's wearing a leash. Every single gay person is a slut. Where are you getting this information from? There are so many successful gay relationships, probably more successful gay relationships as there are heterosexual relationships. I, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Sir. What the fuck are you talking about? I really would like to know because you are not making any sense. Where are you, where, are, what are you doing? What are you saying? Where, what? Stop it. It doesn't work between man and a woman, uh, a man and a man. I noticed that slip up there, sir. You didn't even think to redo that part and say it again and edit it, no? The masculine and the feminine have to come together and it's simply imperfect when the, the, the both is the same gender. So I guess that's my uh, try explanation of why these people are so homophobic. They wish that I was like them and they use gay as an insult, closeted gay as an insult, which is inherently homophobic according to their definition. I mean, if I was to call someone gay as a straight guy, I'm homophobic, but why aren't they homophobic when they call me gay? So their homophobia is really a cover up for their shame. You aren't homophobic for calling a person gay. It depends on the context. Like using, no one's calling you gay as an insult. No one's like, ha, you're gay and using gay as a synonym with like stupid or little or anything like that. They're like, ha, you're gay because as like a defense mechanism because you're attacking us. There is a big fucking difference, man. No one is calling you gay as an insult. The fact that you take it as an insult is the problem. They're laughing at you, but gay isn't the insult. They're not insulting you, they're making fun of you. There is a, di there is a difference. And they're not making fun of you for being gay. They're making fun of you because you have the most ridiculous values. And it's just fucking funny. You read the situation so wrong. And the fact that you felt the need to make a 16 and a half minute video just to say you aren't gay and like why people would possibly think you were gay. Look at all these reasons I am not gay. Look at me trying to understand why people would even come up with that idea. See, it just seems a little bit sus. I said it already and I'm gonna say it again. And also you managed to be so homophobic throughout the entire video. Implying that gay men can't be masculine, saying that trans men aren't real men just offhand and then never looking back at that ever again or ever coming back to that. Like, you said so much shit and none of it was relevant to literally anything. I don't understand the point of this video. I don't know why you felt the need to make it and I don't know what point you thought you made. I don't know why you uploaded it. I, I can't figure it out, but it's fine. Go off. You do you, man. Uh, anyway, this has been very entertaining for me. I still don't know 
what he said. That felt like the biggest waste of time. I'm so sorry for wasting your time too. All of that made no sense. He talked in a circle. That entire video was just literally a circle. He started with nothing, he ended with nothing. We all left this with nothing except now I do think he's a little bit sus and I didn't before. So he at least gave us that much. <laughs> the opposite of the intention. Um, anyway, a massive thank you to my Kiwi Fruit and Kiwi Bear channel members whose names are up on the screen right now. And a huge thank you to my channel member of the day, Wolf. I love and appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so much for joining. If you would like to become a channel member, you can click the link in the description or the little blue join button. You get my videos a day early, as well as 10% off my shop when I have things on my shop. And as a Kiwi Bird channel member, <laughs> you get little extra videos that don't make it into my main video when I have them. Um, don't forget to check out the little pride Kiwi at makeship.com. This guy, I... Oh, I love him so much. He, ah, I want to eat. I want to eat them. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the queer kiwi, and Twitter, that queer kiwi. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. Mwah. <laughs> and when you close your eyes, you.